name is Rahul and uh, welcome to a series of lectures uh, for SAP BPC and uh, from the academy of uh, academy called SAP BPC Academy and in the, in the series of lecture the first uh, series of lecture I would like you to to give you a brief introduction brief introduction about uh, business planning and consolidation so here in this uh, in this lecture would like to highlight uh, three fundamental questions about uh, uh, BPC. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, some history, historical background about BPC. Second is uh, uh, why do we need uh, BPC and what are the things that can be done by BPC. Irrespective of uh, function, entity, region, no matter how small, big, or medium or, um, an enterprise can be and uh, what is the relevance of, of BPC in today's world. So let's uh, go through, uh, through through this lecture to know more about BPC. Uh, the first lecture is, uh, is only an introductory uh, because uh, even if you go for a hardcore implementation or migration it is always uh, important to know the product in and out. So in this first lecture, I would like to give you some introduction about uh, PPC. So starting with the history of PPC, uh, as in as in as in consultant, it's very important to to know uh, how this particular uh, this particular product has came into 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 being because. Uh, uh, I mean, in today's world, it's, it's like very important to to know various aspects of uh, of your particular uh, of your particular module or or the implementation where you're going through. So here is is a brief uh, history of uh, of of uh, PPC. So let's start with a company uh, which is known as uh, Hyperion. Uh, Hyperion was fundamentally uh, into into market uh, because of their uh, tools, which enable which enable forecasting, planning, and budgeting. And budgeting and consolidation. Yes. Uh, but uh, later eventually uh, it was uh, uh, taken over by a big giant uh, that everybody knows is Oracle. So Oracle and uh, in, uh, from Hyperion there were a group of peoples, there were a group of, uh, uh, of uh, peoples uh, who left uh, Hyperion and came out with an organization called Outlook Soft. Uh, so after leaving uh, Hyperion, Hyperion, these people came out uh, with a company called Hyperion, and uh, again they were in the same line of business. Uh, they started this company in 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 Stanford, and again they were came they were in the same business, uh, which include planning, consolidation, forecasting, budgeting, dashboards. Uh, productive analysis and reporting. Uh, in 2007, uh, Outlook uh, was acquired by SAP uh, as in part of uh, as in part of uh, as in part of challenging Oracle. Uh, as everybody knows, that that uh, ever since uh, from from into business, Oracle and uh, and and SAP has been into Many legal battles where, I mean, in, in, as, in, as, a competitor, as a competitor, they want to prove their point that who is better than other, and uh, this is how the history of uh, of SAP goes. And now, uh, since uh, since those times, um, we have uh, SAP in two versions. Uh, that is, one is definitely everybody knows that it's, it's in Microsoft Excel. And first is definitely Microsoft Excel, and the, and the second is uh, NetWeaver versions. Yep. 
So as we spoke about uh, two versions, the first one is obviously obviously uh, known as uh, as as Microsoft, uh, where they have used uh, the Microsoft as their platform to to empower uh, consolidation planning uh, and uh, and uh, reporting. These tools uh, are are handy in, in Microsoft Excel. So the first one is definitely as uh, Microsoft Excel, and what is what is the what are the functions that can be uh, run through Microsoft Excel? Uh, yes, the the primary function that can be completed. Uh, okay, uh, Microsoft primarily targets the non-SAP systems, uh, which are. Oracle, PeopleSoft, and Jerry Edward. Uh, but SAP has uh, has gone one step ahead of uh, of it, and ha came up uh, with a version called as as NetWeaver. Yeah, one more thing and uh, that needs to be uh, that need to be noted into 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 implementation of SAP by by uh, Microsoft is uh, it integrates with uh, Office 2007 and also supports SQL Server 2008 uh, now coming to the NetWeaver version of, uh, of uh, SAP mm, SAP NetWeaver is 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 uh, something which is uh, pioneer pioneered by pioneered by uh, by SAP, and the main advantage uh, of 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 this is that uh, it's an open and scalable infrastructure upon which the SAP business suits is built. So let's look at uh, at, at uh, some some you know features uh, which can be. Which can be taken as an as a noted point why SAP NetWeaver uh, has become such an as a relevant tool in today's uh, S in, in today's uh, SAP BPC implementation. So the first one is SAP Net NetWeaver enables collaborative business. Uh, it means that uh, the business uh, is conducted in a, in a in a collaborative manner. Where each and every department, no matter in which section it is, uh, it's been carried out simultaneously, and everybody knows the bigger picture, uh, how we are going on. Uh, the main advantages of uh, SAP uh, NetWeaver is okay. Let's go by one by one because it's it's very important to know these aspects because. Uh, till the time we don't know what are the advantages of of implementing a particular module by a particular way of uh, of, of method, uh, we we lose the whole picture that why we are doing implementation in SAP NetWeaver instead of uh, uh, instead of SAP Microsoft. So the first one is uh, open extendability, uh, which is uh, which means uh, the entire the entire bus the entire business. Is based upon standard technology. Uh, I mean, it's an art of uh, state of art technology, which can be, uh, which can be incorporated in in any business or no matter in which business you are, it can be incorporated in any business. Either it can be small, big, or large entities. And next comes the point is uh, immediate integration. Uh, it means, uh, it means. It means allow complete integration of uh, of people, information, and business processes in the company. Uh, it means that all the departments and all the entities in an organization, uh, an organization, uh, has been considered while while implementing in, in such a scenario where 
uh, BPC becomes such and critical that each and every part of the whole system is taken into consideration while implementing uh, the BPC uh, uh, project. So the third advantage is that that company would uh, would always would like to have in in competitive world to have a low total cost ownership. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it, it means uh, it is leveraging on the existing systems. It's leveraging on the existing systems. You don't have to have to you know purchase other software or application. Uh, it would uh, adapt itself in such a way that the existing systems are are more than enough uh, to to carry out a, to ca carry out a healthy implementation. Um, the last is is. It's, it gives a very clear road map. But what does that mean? Gives it, that means, uh, it means, it, it, as it gives a road map, I mean, uh, it's been 2007 when uh, SAP has been, uh, SAP has taken over, uh, has, has uh, implementing this PPC. And uh, till the time, it, they have always endeavored that uh, SAP NetWeaver, which is the version of uh, SAP, uh, becomes a technology of the future. I mean, they're considering each and every aspect about this changing uh, global competition and the global scenarios. That uh, it 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 lays the foundation of future uh, solution that it should not become absolute in coming time. So that would be all uh, uh, from. Uh, from the historical pa point of view of an, of an SAP implementation. So here we have seen how it has been implemented, uh, how, how small company with few people, Hyperon, all started it and it was then, o then over taken over by, by Outlook Soft. Hyperon has now been taken over by Oracle. Outlook is now with, uh, with, Outlook is now with SAP. So how these big giants, you know, come out with, with capturing and and uh, acquisition of, of small entities to become the larger part. And now, uh, now look, let's look have let, now let's look at a view that uh, what is there in for an consultant uh, in 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 SAP, in SAP BPC? That is, what is that uh, he would uh, he would uh, fetch it? So there can be three options. Uh, what I mean, what are the three opportunities they have? So the opportunities that can be in in the in the the first is definitely the migration of uh, of uh, versions from uh, higher to lower to from from lower to higher. That, for example, it's uh, somebody is working on SAP, which is of a lower version. So a migration thing comes uh, into picture in this scenario. I mean, it, it simply means that you got to implement the migration from a lower technology to a higher technology. Uh, then upgrade. Upgrade in the sense is like in the same in the same uh, in the same uh, version. That if an upgrade comes, so it's like upgrading from, for example, uh, for example, let's say an example of SAP NetWeaver. So SAP NetView, when it was launched, it was launched in 7.0. Uh, then upgrade was made in 7.5, and now it is uh, is, is working completely into 10.0 uh, uh, version. Um, definitely. Then comes the new implementation when a company uh, has not implemented the BPC and they wanted to implement BPC. So all the con all the consultants have a great opportunity. To, to to exploit uh, this given uh, scenario. So now let's let's move into into some into some into some features where where we, we would like to tell. So this is uh, this I would call as a history of history of BPC history of BPC. Now now let's move 